Hello everyone, it's me, Gundam Master 116 and today I have something very special to show you guys today. I'll be doing the unboxing of the Koyoto Revolt Tech Mob Alternative EF2000 Typhoon Cerberus version. And um you guys are probably guessing, yes, another Mov Love kit. Well, this is not a model kit, it's a Revoltech fic, uh, action figure. So, um, further ado, that's how get to the story of how I got this. Originally, I was planning to get the uh, Volks A3 figure um, of the F-15 Eagle or the F-14D Super Tomcat, but they were very pricey. Um, I was looking on Amazon, and many of them offered free shipping, but the problem is I didn't fulfill it through Amazon. And knowing that some of these stores were from Japan, well, that could have been hard to deal with. So, I picked up this Revoltic because it was fulfilled by Amazon for free shipping. And, uh, met the price limit, you could say, or pr the minimum price. And then, I got it today. So, that's how I got the figure. So, story. In the Mobile Universe, because of the Beta Alien Invasion, the Lux class and the Magna Lux Betas. That's a. Those are two types of species in the beta contingency. Apparently, they shoot lasers pretty much, and um, that made airplanes very obsolete. Like all of our jet aircraft are now giant robots, known as tactical surface fighters, and like the real typhoon. Here's the real one. So here it is, and this is the Germ Germany version, so just that one. So pretty convenient. And as you can see, it's a delta winged aircraft, so makes it very aerodynamic and very renewable. So, let's take a look at the box. So there you have it, Revoltech Mobile Up Alternative. This is number three in the entire series, uh, made by Koyoto. A little bit of dust there. Again, it's a Revoltech figure. Namesake, EF2000 Typhoon Cerberus. It's... Tiny, tiny we're saying 125 millimeter action figure from Mullet Alternative sculpted by Yamaguchi Katsuhi Katsuhisa, I believe. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, again, Mullet Alternative made by Age, or the company is Age that produces the series, but the uh, license goes to Age. And then look around the box on the bottom here, it tells you. So things about the joints and what you should look out for and cut off, I believe it says. Or fix around. But uh, again, it's in Japanese, so I have a hard time understanding that. Then on this side of the box, we have more information on like what to do with the joints and everything with the Revolta figure and how to assemble and disassemble it, apparently. Then on the other side, you just get amazing... Uh, a stand art, zoom in stand art of the Typhoon itself. Again, really cool. Again, name, pretty much. Then in the back here, you get the full figure standing with his um, Mark 57 support cannon. There it is, uh, posing, lying down on the ground, holding the cannon. But then again, these are the accessories that comes with you get the cannon. You get about four hands, one assault cannon, one melee halberd, two mom pylons, one for the cannon, one for the melee halberd, two jump units, and some extra stand pieces and uh, display stuff. And then again, uh, detailed description in Japanese. Then we have, uh, let's collect all the revolt texts. So then you have um, many action poses for the uh, typhoon. But then again, you didn't show all the figures. And top of the box. Series name, name of the kit. Pretty, pretty cool. So let's get unboxing. So trust, my, trust me, knight. Then it. That should do it. And it has more instructions of putting stand and spare parts together. Pretty convenient. So, let's get this out. Let's 
so here's the baggie for the stampies I believe and you get a uh, tiny free booklet apparently from Koyoto on their other Robotex and um, things they produce pretty cool so give me that to the side so here you have the Typhoon um, package very well in plastic uh, they have the plastic one that goes in the bottom and then they have the ones a uh, clear one coming to the top so very protected so let's get this thing cracked open yeah. Here we go, and some parts started flying around. Well, it doesn't matter, so clear top is gone. And here have the figure, pretty decent. So, start getting stuff out first. There you have the melee halberd. Then, moving on, you get the hands of the kit, which flew around. But you can't get them out, so there's your different hands. So on this side, you get the two mile pylons. I believe this is the sword holding one, and this is the rifle holding one. Then, moving on with great ease, they put plastic behind that main figure here to protect it, and another hand just fell out. But again, Great figure, very nice, and very detailed. So, let's put that to the side. And uh, continue on inside the box, we got our two jump units, as we see here. And, again, you can see the resemblance to the actual uh, Typhoon as that Delta Wing... Um, wing design is reflected not just on here but also around the other pieces of the actual Typhoon and moving on you get your tiny assault cannon and everything just falls off okay we'll start with the support cannon so here's the uh, Type 57 assault cannon has some articulation down here but um yeah Pretty sweet and big, I have to say. It's a big cannon, for sure. So that's the Mark 57 support cannon. Then you have this container that Koyo gives you in the Revolta figures. I have no idea how this is supposed to work, so if you guys can explain to me down in the comments below, that would be great because all I know is this thing is good for storage. But, alright, you get this. Um, more detailed pieces, probably for the stand, I believe, I'm not sure, again, please comment below if I'm mistaken, but you get this, then you have the assault cannon for the Typhoon, and again, green side painted for you, great, and yeah, this kind of reminds me of the uh, G36 assault, assault rifle. Does it? Upper receiver, bit of lower. Hmm, it does. But yeah, this is the assault cannon. And that's pretty much it from the unboxing. So again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two of the review of the Revolt Tech EF2000 Typhoon as we go over the articulations, the posing, or, and also how to weapon assisting and clear some things up about the Revoltex. But again, see you next time.